Alright, I got this uh, Lloyd dude, this little black man dude, uh, he's running the, the whole war in the Ukraine, right out the, the, the Ministry of Defense of the United States. I can't tell the difference if he's work, he's under the Ukraine flag or under the American flag. I don't know why he'd be under the Ukraine flag, because Ukraine's all white people. They don't know that they don't want no black people on their land. It's a white power country. And he's saying all that equipment over there, heavy equipment, listen to him. For joining us at Ramstein, and he once again gave us all a first-hand account of the battlefield dynamics, highlighting Ukraine's most urgent needs in the critical months ahead. We also heard from my colleagues in U.S. European Command about the progress on building Ukraine's combat power as Ukraine prepares to push back the lines of Russian invade invaders. He's talking about NATO when he says European uh, U.S. Command. They got some uh, new Suka, uh, I call him Sucker, uh, running that whole place. He's some kind of like uh, King David dude. You know, he's going to go in there with his little rocks and, and he's going to hit Goliath in the head and he's going to fall down. And we talked about key enablers that will help Ukraine repel Russian forces, such as heavy equipment, and transport vehicles, and refuelers, and mine rollers. See, he's going to send the heavy equipment in there to roll Russia right out of there. He doesn't realize that Russia's rolled out Napoleon, uh, the British people. Uh, he probably, he's probably too black to understand the uh, charge of the light brigade. Uh, the Kaiser, that was World War One, and Hitler, and now we got, here comes Biden. And I can prove Biden's, uh, German-Irish by, by looking at his pictures. Let's see what else he has to say. And I'd like to thank those here who announced donations of these important systems, including Germany and the Netherlands. And now he's running a whole war on donations of the whole world. So now he's getting everybody to pay for his murder. We also discuss ways to intensify our sustainment and industrial base initiatives. Now he's going to build factories. And then when the Ukraine starts inventing other people, say, you built this up and now we're going to make it planet Ukraine because we don't want no other flags other than blue and yellow flying around. Uh, then you're going to find out what it's like to build up a big communist country. Now, Russia has continued its assault on civilian targets in Ukraine, including schools and theaters and apartment buildings. He's talking about accidents. How many schools and theaters and uh, nursery places did the U.S. hit in Iraq? Those targets have absolutely no military value whatsoever. And we heard Colin Powell saying that uh, Saddam Hussein had uh, nu had nuclear weapons or mass destruction weapons that that uh, required the whole U.S. Army to go in tomorrow on the word of a black man. And when they got there, they had nothing. Couldn't even find one piece of paper that said he had something. Uh, excuse me, that's like the Jews saying Moses part of the water, and all the Jews walked through it and and got out of Egypt. You know, if I was a druggie, I might believe it, but, you know, I'm not, so tell them to get off the PCP. So we're helping Ukraine defend its citizens? Uh, <laughs> you're going to fight the war for them? And its skies against Russian missiles and Iranian drones. Oh, and then we got to bring Iran into it? Wait till they bring the whole Middle East over. Uh, many contact group members have stepped up with new air defense systems and critically needed ammunition for those systems. We got the whole world sending ammunition to the Ukraine, and they haven't moved the, 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 the lines back over to the, uh, where they were before. And we're going to stay focused on the key capabilities that Ukraine needs right now. They need a lot of prayers, and I'm going to tell you right now, because I'm God, that and nobody gonna hear their prayer. I'm just gonna program it into the computer system that they lose. 
as well as in the medium term. Now we also heard today from the European Union. The European Union? We're going to hear from them? They build it like secret governments called Eurosci, and they got a, a Czech president right now. Uh, he's doing stuff and Americans don't know about it. I had to go and dig it up myself with Mr. Patskan. And gentlemen, who's this guy? Eurosci, an organization that promotes professional cooperation in the spirit of mutual friendship and equality. These values have been violated. No self-respecting international organization can turn a blind eye to the Russian aggression on Ukraine. An independent and sovereign state and our member. Oh. They're members of the Eurosci. Look, he, he's, he's, he's in front of the, of the Ukraine flag and he's got a stupid little Czech flag. They're trying to go and say they got the red, white, and blue. And he's wearing a yellow and blue ribbon on his suit. How come they don't tell this in the news to the United States citizens? Because we're all stupid. They're like taking over the world without anybody knowing. they got to black out on all the news. Who's this clown? They have a governing board meeting. You know, I don't see no Euro president and sitting in his desk. Isn't that Merkel? From Germany? That old lady? On its proposal to speed up the production and delivery of ammunition for Ukraine. We need to hurry up and get the ammunition over there. Because they're using like 10 bullets for, for, for uh, three guys. And more countries are thinking about how they can increase uh, industrial production, not just for the near term, but also for the medium term and the long term. And that is a powerful reminder that we stand with Ukraine's defenders for the long haul. What I meant was <laughs> shooting a whole clip at one guy instead of 10 for three guys. You know, Putin made a series of grave miscalculations. Putin? Putin? I just went over to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and that Larav, whatever his name is, Larav, Rav, I don't know how you pronounce that garbage. Larav, Rav. He said that Ukraine banned the Russian language, the Russian culture. You can't be in the Ukraine and speak Russian, or they come to your house and take you away. So we forced Putin to cross over and, and, and get rid of those Nazis. That's like uh, the South getting in here, or the black man president saying, you, you can't speak English anymore, you're going to be African. When he ordered the invasion of Ukraine more than a year ago. Does he even have a brain? This guy? He's reading out some script with a little American pin flag on his suit like he's some Nazi. Having a little flag on his suit like, like the little Nazis did, make him, make him feel like a Democrat? He thought that Ukraine wouldn't dare to fight back. Oh. Even the grandmothers and the little kids would fight back. But Ukraine is standing strong with the help of its partners. Oh, we have to have the Americans send all their tech over here right now. Because we don't need their tech. We only need it when we come and come back at you. They have a little radio whip and tells them where all the forces are at. And they just take the little drones and drop them on you. And they laugh. You hear, you hear a Ukraine guy laugh? I, I watched them laugh when they shot off all the rockets.
goes all those women and kids over to Ukraine. We just we get them all. It's like Longshank said. Oh, they'll hit their forces too. All the women and kids in the Ukraine, they're all, all, all those people over there that are living there with the Russians. They all just got flattened. You want to see it again? It's like some church word. They exalted them. Maybe he said, we assaulted them. They look like they need United States help. Putin thought that our unity would fracture. But Russia's cruel war of choice. Oh, we're fighting Americans. That should come out now. It's just a matter of when the B-52s do their little nuclear tour on them. Look at his face. He's got a disgusted look like God put him in hell forever. The time is the 2-5 two two woman God justice. 2-4-1. When they reverse the 4 and the 1, it's, it's uh, no justice. One woman got equal four. That's what a a double two eight woman got. If you reduce it down, it's Luke two one six. The three six God has Zeus. Isn't that who they're talking about? And then you get into the uh, Revelations, and it talks about the three six God being the devil. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to talk about all your lunacy. But you don't even read your own books. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 6 makes it 3, 6. It's just a matter of if you've gone to school and learned math. I want to just end it right there because it really is war. It's a war against the United States, not the Ukraine. They, they act like with all the rockets that they were shooting, they need American help. They can flatten everything with just those little rockets. <laughs> 